Hello everybody and welcome to the Throwback Gaming Lobby. Be sure to grab some popcorn, kick back and enjoy because the lobby is open and that means it's time for a brand new video. And in this video we're going to continue on with our Paper Mario Let's Play. In the last video we navigated through Toad Town and we found out that we had to go to Cooper Brothers Fortress but before that we had to make a quick little pit stop here in Koopa Village and deal with a fuzzy problem. So as you can see, there are these little, these little, um, I don't even know how to describe them, fuzzy things. But what you have to do right now is get all of the shells back for all of the Koopa Troopas around the village here. Thanks, Mario. This shell was made to order. That's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? Uh, yeah, okay. There's another one. Oh, you're the best. Thank you very much. Now, this is the first Koopa that we talked to in the last video. So, there you go. Oh, thank you, Mario. I owe you one. I just can't walk around without my shell on. Talk about embarrassing. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from fuzzies, alright? Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. Okay, yeah, that's cool. You want to check all these bushes because you can get stuff out of them. Like, look at that. There's a dried shroom that's just hanging out in the bush there. A Koopa leaf, which... I'm just going to use these items. Because... I don't really even need to hit the uh, toad house right now because I only have eight, nine health. I'm not going to even worry about it, so... Now, for this one, you gotta kinda walk slowly. Oh, this Koopa's gonna ruin everything for me. There we go. Yeah, the Koopa running around after it will, like, apparently make the fuzzy run away, even if you're not near it. Thank you. Typical Mario style. You're just as cool as I heard you were. So now for this one... You want to do that? Grab the shell. Now, that's the last one you have to actually grab out here. I might have known. You're so clever, Mario. So, yeah. I'll just keep looking around for stuff here. Oh. Alright, whatever. Just... I'm not really worried about that right now. Who's there? I'm kind of busy right now. What? Wait. Could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are. My name's Cooper. Oh, I'm so psyched to meet you. Us meeting here has got to be fate or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you'll help me out. This wild fuzzy took my shell, which next to my life is the most important thing I have. I can't go out without my shell, period. Way too embarrassing. The problem is, the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So if you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you. Hey Mario, it looks like he's in a bad way. We ought to help him out. The fuzzy that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab him, like, wump. Yeah, so all you have to do is just kind of chase him. I think you actually can battle those fuzzies back there, but I mean, I'm not going to waste my time right now because I'm just going to focus on this little part here, where all you have to do is... You have to get the shell back, of course. Come get it if you can. Guess where I'm hiding. I don't know if you guys caught that, but that's actually a dialogue error because... I don't think he's asking you to guess where he's hiding. He's just more telling you, like, guess where I'm hiding? It should be an exclamation point, not a question mark. Not bad, chump. But that was just a warm-up. Guess where I'm hiding? Yeah, see, it's a question mark. It should be an exclamation point, but whatever. Right there. 
You got me twice? Must have been luck. Now I'm serious. I give, uncle, here, take the stupid shell. You're too tough for me, I, pr I won't be bad anymore, I promise. Maybe. You can't get anything out of these trees. Mario, there you are. I realized I have to take a stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care that I have no shell on. I'm gonna show these fuzzies what's what. We already got the shell back. Yes, this is my shell, all right. Oh yeah, got my shell back. You're the greatest, Mario. I owe you big time. Good to hear you're happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Right, well, I kind of live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world solving mysteries like he does. So do you think, could I please take me with you, Mario? I'll help. Come on, let me go. What do you think, Mario? I'm on my way. I swear I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the earth. So yeah, what he can do is he can hit switches and he can like grab items too. And he's the first party member you can get that can actually attack a group of enemies at once. And I'm going to kind of show you what that looks like. I changed my mind, sucker. How about a fight? Yeah, this will be really quick. So, power shell. I'm going to use the power block and deal a quick two damage. There you go, a nice easy 12 star points. We'll be good, we'll be good. Yeah, very easy, very simple. So now when you go back over here, you want to make sure that you grab this badge over here. It is a very good one to have. It'll increase your max HP by 5. Now obviously it does take 3 badge points, so it is a lot because you only get a maximum of, I think, 30 in this game for badge points, which is... Not a lot when you think about it, but this is, of course, something new that was at the time unique to the game. So you want to grab this star piece right over here because you definitely want to have a nice abundance of those as you progress through the game. All right, so. Ooh, Chuck Quizmo. Ka-Wiz. Chuck Quizmo is the name and quizzes are my game. You want quizzes? I got them. If you can manage to answer my brain-busting questions correctly, then I'll give you a star piece. Yeah, and he he pops up randomly, but like where he pops up, I believe, is like RNG. I don't think you actually can predict it. What is the name of Goombario's younger sister? Now, that's obviously Goombaria. Correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. Look at that, two star pieces in a matter of 20 seconds. So, yeah, that's awesome. I'll just use the two Koopa Leafs because... Actually, you know what? I actually will go take a nap at the Toad House because it just kind of makes sense to save those. And you'll definitely need the items like in this early part of the game because my health and flower points are very, very low. But obviously when I level up, I'm going to level up my, uh, my flower points to be up to 10. So that way it'll be a little bit easier to uh, do this. I'm also going to go ahead and make sure to remember to save before I really go anywhere. So that is also very important. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and head out. Now there's something in these blocks as I remember. So we'll just go ahead and start heading towards the fortress. Which honestly doesn't take as long as you might think. So you just head this way.
We also have a new enemy to deal with. You have the, uh, the Koopa here now. You want to also make sure you have to knock him on his back to do damage. And I'm going to use the Power Shell to take out that spiked Goomba in the back. Because if not, that can cause problems. And that's where that extra Koopa Leaf can come in handy because I can just recover my, my health, so. Now also you want to make sure that, like I said, he can also, like, break things for you. So, grab that item. I'm going to use the Koopa Leaf real quick. And take all these Goombas out. Like so. I think this is an easy, what, two star points a piece you get from them? Yeah, you do. You get two a piece. And like when you get, like I said in one of my previous videos, when you can get those star pieces that easily early on, you definitely want to do that. No entry allowed, Mario. Yours truly the Koopa Brothers. Oh, that's why I have this. Alright, so now I gotta be careful of this little flying paratrooper here. Aw, oh, I didn't mean to get hit by it. And I still could. Alright, well. Alright, I'll put him on. I'll knock him on his back. Yeah, and he'll still stay lying down. There we go. There we go. He might actually get up, but that's okay. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, they have four health each. I don't think you can actually super guard first hits, which... I'm gonna try to get a badge for that later on, so that that won't be a problem going forward. But right now, I just... I don't have enough. Look at that, I got my heart back, so that's good. I'll get that fire flower for later. It's also a hidden block in the middle of that, in case you didn't know where that, where I got that. Ooh, star piece. Ah, oh, I missed. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna be a little creative here. Now, you know what, actually? Yeah, I'll just use a cool belief and just do that. I was gonna use the fire flower, but I'm gonna save that for something else. There we go. Take out those Goombas. Nope, I don't wanna do that. There we go. Now obviously you can use the hammer too, I'm just not right now because I don't have anything that buffs my hammer just yet. There we go. That's what I wanted to do, just interact, because... Alright. See, now I'll use the Fire Flower, which I don't think it's gonna actually damage the Koopas, but we'll see. Oh. Actually, it will. Cool. There we go. Yeah, I'm about to level up anyway, so... I'll be able to boost my, uh, my flower points. There we go. So now I can level up, and I'm gonna level up my flower power. Because, even though it's actually flower points, not power, but whatever. Flower points, flower power, potato, potato. So, we're almost to the fortress. And also, that's a little bit of an HP block if you didn't already get it, so... Here is the fortress. So I think here is a good time to end the video. And if you guys like what you saw in this video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notifications bell so to make sure that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Leave a comment down below. Have a great night. Stay humble.